presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Kicking into April 1st tomorrow. You gotta love it. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 178, NASDAQ is off 32, SP is off 16 and a half, gold contract up $9.60 straight at 1943 an ounce. We have silver down five cents, twenty-five dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off seven dollars twelve cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: the ten-year note up seven ticks, trading one twenty-two twenty-seven. The thirty-year up nineteen ticks at one fifty oh one. And king dollar, king dollar is up four hundred seventy-four ticks, trading ninety-eight two sixty-five. Euro one ten, yen one twenty-one point five seven. The British pound at one thirty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, so we got the ABC structures up, and the S and P as well as the NDX one hundred. The way this market's trading, you should start looking for some short positions here. That's the bottom line. I suspect what you're going to see out here tomorrow. I think we're going to have an up market tomorrow, and the reason I'm, I do is this Wednesday. You had a high, vol high volume high. We're laying out at 86. Well, first off, the price projection inside the SPY, folks, okay, is 478. Uh, thus far, we've made it to 462. That was Wednesday. Now, yesterday we backed down, so we had a high of 86 million. You backed down with 79, and you can see today, though, you're only at 46. So you, you covered the gap that was there, and you don't have any selling. So that's telling me that, you know what, this thing's gonna try to finish off. But I think when I look at the broader market, when you look at a lot of these equities, a lot of these equities have broken down. There's a lot more that are breaking down. So we'll see where it shakes out. But my, my take is that this is the last lunge forward before we come back downtown again. That's in the SPY. NDX 100, the setup actually looks even better. You know, and we know that the NDX 100 is the um, weakest indice. But right now, it's deviant, man, and right now it looks like it rejected that, you know, it went to the gap of uh, 365.01. We hit 364.34, and guess what? It's rejected it, and we will have lighter volume. Right now, we only get 40 million shares. This thing will maybe do about 52 million. So what that's also telling me is that, guess what? Bottom line, that can push this thing up, and the price projection of the Qs is a lot lighter also than the SPY. The Qs were never basically saying they're going to the high. They say they're going to uh, 390. So we'll see whether they can make it, but it's, it's a heads up, man. Gold. Gold contract out here. We'd have with the gold contract. We get a sideways to higher move. I want to see more contract volume, though. We only have 136,000 contracts. It is peaking its head up. That's the bottom line. Still like to see a lot more contract volume. And I suspect, you know, we'll get it, but the bottom line is not here right now. You know, that's, that's how that's shaking out. And good old King Dollar. We go take a look at King Dollar. What we have a King Dollar out here is that it saved itself. You know, I mean, quite clearly, too. This is, <laughs> this is pretty wild. You know, the bottom of this 
uh, rectangle. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this shakes out, and we'll also see uh, if, in fact, the dollar can basically stay higher as we come into the close. Because what we've seen many times is this: we've seen the aspect that good old King Dollar, if for some reason it likes to sell off coming into the close, and you know, we'll we'll see if that's going to shake out. Uh, there we go. We're going to see if this is going to shake out um, as we basically come into the close out here. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, you have um, Advanced Micro. That's getting smoked. That's down eight and a half dollars. We have uh, Bank of America off a buck thirty-three. You have Ma Bell down thirty-three cents. Intel's off a buck forty-one. You got uh, you would pack it off two twenty-three. Let's go over. I want to take a look right now at BAC. These banks, man. If these banks are already going down, yeah, this is interesting. So, the, so watch this. Yeah, so the B Bank of America did a 50% retracement. Yeah, this is telling us quite a bit. So Bank of America is backing down. So from the highs to the lows, Bank of America did a 50% retracement has lighter volume at those highs, and now you're coming back downtown. And so watch why it's important to look at the banks, folks. So what you have is this. When you have interest rates that are going up, spreads are going up so banks make more money. That's fine at the beginning. What ends up happening, though, if the prices, which are high already, and then the interest rate structure starts going up heavier, meaning faster. What ends up happening is that that's how you get thrown into a recession, okay? And as you get thrown into a recession, the banks are going to go lower. Why? Because they have so much money that's lent out there. Then they find out who doesn't have a bathing suit on when the tide's going out. That's kind of, you know, I mean, so let me go look at J.P. Morgan here for a second, too. Because, see, what ends up happening is that in this type of environment at the beginning of the cycle, Meaning, you know, the inflation going, banks should be eating this up, and they're not, and they're selling it off. JP Morgan's down 270. You're trading 137, 30 million, no, 10. Yeah, JP Morgan is breaking a little swing, and it's going to have volume. So that's not, that's not a good situation um, at all, meaning market wise. That's how this thing is shaking out. And we, we do have, let's see, this lower range stats. Yeah, there you go, man. This is weird. Okay, so when, you, when we take this and we put it on a larger chart also, J.P. Morgan this is, and J.P. Morgan is one of the, you know, technically, fundamentally, it would be one of the better banks that are out here when we're talking fundamentals. And it's in the lower range. And when you're in the lower range, it's a problem, right? That's, that's anything under 140, 110 is a problem because then, it's, then it opens up, wide open up, for the lows that were established at the March pandemic two years ago. How's that? I can't even believe I'm saying that myself. Dow Industrials right now down 202, Nasdaq's off 55, S&P's off 21. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 213. You get the NASDAQ off 62. S&Ps are off 22. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy. Uh, always good to talk to you, sir. You also, man. How's life? Say, uh, you know I'm calling in about two uh, gold yep. mining companies, Royal Gold and Newmont. But before we get into that, uh, I'll just supplement what you just had to say about the bank stocks. You were talking J.P. Morgan. Yes. Take a look at that Citicorp, uh, ticker C. Uh, it bounced barely in the past couple of weeks and now was making new lows for this move. That might fit right in to what you were just talking about. Yeah, and, you know, oh, oh look at this. Oh, hold it. Yeah. Look at those moves, man. Yeah, I mean, I. it looks to me, man, you know, hold on, folks, because <laughs> this thing's coming, man. Yeah. If the banks... Anyway, Tom, I did want to uh, ask for your read, doing your uh, your thing on the weekly charts for Royal Gold and Newmont. Now, yeah. both are near highs or at highs. Right. I make two observations. One, <clears throat> the setback in COMEX gold price and some of the other mining equities off that March 8th high was pretty decisive. Oh, They're yeah. coming back for sure. But these two, Royal Gold and Newmonts, came right back. They're back to highs of March 8th. Yes. So here we are. They're both very strong on those weekly charts. When you go back, you know, five or ten years, can you just share with us... Um, the price and volume and what sort of ABCD targets you have higher than this? Yeah, so let, let's do Royal Gold first. So if we look at so Royal Gold, folks, is a streamer. So a streamer, you know, basically acts like a bank. You know, I mean, this company only employs 28 people, but yet takes in uh, 640 million a year. <laughs> so not a bad uh, situation. And they bring $3.98 to the bottom line. Now watch this, John. In both cases, I'm gonna, I'll bring up the weeklies too, but when you see the monthlies, well, you probably already know what the monthlies look like. If we bring up the weekly first, what you're gonna see is that, you know, the bottom line is that two weeks ago, we had monster volume coming into these highs, okay? Meaning the high and, and uh, Royal Gold is at 147.64. I think we've been building cars the last couple of weeks. We, won't, we need more volume, but then watch this when you put up the monthly. You put up the monthly, as Larry Pezzavonte would say, you look at these two big bars. These two bars, folks, 
They don't come in twos, they come in threes. <laughs> and you can see the expansion of volume. So last month we did 10 million, uh, no, eight, uh, 10 million coming into it. This month we did 14 million and we're coming into a bar that only has eight. So that's telling me we're gonna take that out, John, um, and pretty decisively. Um, if we get into Newmont, and Newmont, when you see this in Newmont, Newmont's really cool, man. Now, Newmont, you know, when you first look at it on the daily, it's like, okay, man, this doesn't have the juice. You know, you can see that today we got over the high. Um, you only get 4 million shares versus that last high of 17 million. That being said, though, what you have there, watch this. When we put this on a monthly, it's like you just blew away everything, I mean, on monster volume. You know, so as long as you get a close over $75 today, that's saying that, guess what, 95 is on the way. And the way I'm getting the 95, folks, is that I just take the, you know, the bottom of that consolidation it was in and then take the top of it and then you add that price point, meaning, you know, 72, the bottom there is 60, so you add 12 to 72, 82, 84, 84 to 90 bucks. That's what it looks like to me. It's going. So... It, yeah, it, that is uh, very impressive, and as you and I both know, this is a lack of institutional selling and large institutional buying here. And that, that absolutely correct. And it's such it it's the gold market, folks, is such a small market. It's unbelievable when we're talking markets. When we're talking about how money comes into markets, so it's like it looks to me like, hey, man, this thing's really going to go. Um, you know, and it, it's. You know, the dollar saved itself today, no doubt. You know, so we'll see how this shakes out with the dollar. But I think the dollar is building cause to go break that triangle, I mean, that rectangle that it's in. Yeah, that, uh, thanks for sharing that 15-year uh, monthly chart on Newmont with the volume. That's quite impressive. Isn't it, uh, man? Because yeah, you know, very you know, illustrative, yeah. Yeah, because what happens, folks, is this, is that you have to put some of these on daily weeklies and monthlies because uh, what happened i was doing a live program with td ameritrade yesterday actually live from the new york stock exchange and they wanted me they got into newmont and i says man look at newmont man this is that's that's not you and me john as we know that is large institutions that are getting in and what does happen folks because of newmont and barrack those are the names that are safer there's no safe things in the marketplace but it's safer for them because if their bosses, if gold goes to hell in a handbag, they can say to their boss, hey, I bought the, get the, the best stock in the market, man. I mean, in the sector. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of how yeah. that goes. You know. Thanks so much. I do appreciate it. Okay, man. Have a great one, John. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at this S&P because this S&P, what's happening here is this. The last couple times that we came down intraday, it did not have enough volume, folks, to break these lows. We just broke them just now. And it looks to me, so what was happening here, this was actually building cause to break it. Let me get this bigger so you can kind of see this. You can see that, you know, we're down 30 bucks right now. Um, you know, it kept hitting, 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 meaning lows, didn't break, didn't break, and then we just blew, we just ran right through it and let's see what time is this okay there's plenty of time we're only four minutes four minutes into this 10 minute bar so that's saying you're going to have big volume and then the way this sets up now this is yeah see this i think this well the volume is going to be light i think we're close to a top again yeah that's the way this thing is trading man so let me see this here for a second so we get 45 is it 40 yeah, 45.97 to 45.68. That's like 30 points. That's 45.53. This is, this is going to be an ABC down to 45.53 in the marketplace. And right now we're at 45.66. Let me pull up the NQs. It's going to be an intraday one. It's going to have the volume for sure. Okay, so let's go see what the NQs are looking like. Okay, they haven't hit the bottom yet. That's oh, that's intriguing. Okay. Yeah. So the NQs haven't hit the bottom yet, and the NQs will probably hold. There's a little change of uh, venue here, man. This is interesting. So the bottom for the NQs is 14960. We're at 985, 
and you're going into 8,400 and we've done 8,300 already, but we're not at it. We'll see. The next buy that could open, I can say, see ya, don't want to be ya. This is going to be intense, man. Um, yeah. 877-927-6648, Dow. Dow's down 274, NASDAQ's off 95, S&P's off 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off at 277. Nasdaq's off 92. S&P's off 30. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what is bringing this uh, baby lower. We take a look at this. Point-wise, what we have is this. You have... Uh, Taken away from it, Home Depot, that's doing minus 55 points. You get United Health 37, Goldman 20, putting positive points, Caterpillar 10, Visa 6, and Amgen uh, 5. Okay, we go to Home Depot. Let's go take a look at Home Depot as well as Lowe's. And you can see this was ready to break down, folks. In the bottom line, they're breaking down out here today. You get Home Depot down 840. You're breaking a swing point. Now, you're not breaking this swing on volume, which is 299 on the daily. You get 6 million versus 8.4, but watch this. Put this on the monthly, and what you're going to see 
is that you're going to see a monster expansion of, well, first off, let's go through this. You're going to, you have a high that was generated with 84 million. You came off the high with 101 million. Last month, you did 103 million, and this month, we've done 110 million. That's building cause. Those two months there, folks, are building cause to break down and get into like 246, and you're at 299 right now. See the top of that, the top of that, i put it this way. If you're watching Tiger TV, you can see how this shakes out. Right there. So the top of that bar where we went top side is 306. Now 30, yeah, 308.02. Once you're into that, you're at 299, the bottom of that bar opens wide open. That's Home Depot. That means that we're gonna have less money to spend on our houses, period. That's, that's where this shakes out. We take a look at Lowe's. What do you have with Lowe's? I don't know. Nope, oh, wrong one. Okay, so we take a look at Lowe's. Lowe's right now is down at 636. This is also breaking its swing low. And the difference is that this, this is gonna be close to having the volume, actually. This only needs a million shares, which you can do in a half hour. So that's on the daily. You put this on the monthly, and you're gonna see the same type of setup. In fact, it already broke it. You're gonna see, okay, we made a high with uh, 75 million. You come off the high with 84. Last month, we do 69. This month, you do 99. You can see the expansion of volume. This lows, next stop down, I think it's 192. You break 192, you're going to be at the 150. This is pretty intriguing, man. Let me just see these, what, what they think they're going to do fundamentally. So if we take a look at this fundamentally for a second, what the company's saying anyway. Yeah, I think they might be dreaming. So, so you see these numbers coming across, folks, okay? This is Lowe's, I'm gonna Home Depot. Home you can see Lowe's, if we look at the last five years, you can, gross numbers, 68 billion, 2018, 71 billion, 72 billion, last, uh, 2021, 89 billion, this past year, 96. Now, what they're saying is they're gonna do 98 billion next year, but this is the way that you wanna, this is how you have to start thinking, folks, okay? You have to start thinking gross numbers because they're inflated numbers, you could, th that number of 98 million should be 2018, that should be 1896, that should be almost 114 billion if we just accounted for inflation. That, that's where that number should shake out. So you can see that They'll be lucky if they make that number, but the bottom line, that number should be much larger because we're gonna be dealing with larger numbers. The real question is, are they gonna be able to make any money out of it because of the aspect that as larger numbers come up, there's gonna be less demand because of course, things get more expensive. We, we take a look at this um, Home Depot. Let's see where this, this shake is shaking out. Home Depot. Yeah, same type of setup too, interesting. Home Depot, if we go back to 2018, 100 billion, 19, 108, 20, 110, 21, 132, 22, 151, and now they only look at a 154. These things are going south, man. They, these things could go south. Let me just look at the PE. These things could just go south even if we didn't come into a recession. You're paying $18 for one, eight for $1 of earnings. But that's saying, that's saying quite a bit, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. Let's go take a look inside the NDX 100 as to what's running the NDX 100 right now. You got Splunk is up uh, 4%. You got Intuit up 2.6. Um, Taken away from it. Pinduoduo is off 8%. AMD is down 8%. Baidu is off 7.5%. JD.com is off 737 um, So bottom line is that uh, we, got, we got some action out here, man. This is a trader's market. There's no two ways about that. Um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, <laughs> Yings and yangs coming in, uh, but the bottom line is that this is a trader's market. So let's go over the, the S&P broke the lows. Let's go take a look at the Qs because the Qs are coming into the low.
Okay, so the NQs are down 100 points. And I just broke it. Yep. Well, the question's going to be... Okay, the number we're talking about here is the, the 14,960. So it spiked it to 950, and you're laying out here at 978 right now. Now, this is where this gets really interesting, man, because number-wise... You're only six minutes into this bar. So watch what happens here, folks. This is cool for tomorrow morning. So what the NQs did, the last 10-minute bar, you had 129,000 contracts. We already have 117,000 contracts, and we're only, we get four minutes left. So that's telling me that we're going to have more contract volume. Now watch what happens. The, what should happen with more contract volume right now is that you should stay at lows. I suspect what's going to happen just because we get the jobs numbers tomorrow and it's going to, you know, more than likely, you know, basically be highly volatile, that somehow this is going to try to pop a little bit higher. And uh, we'll see um, as this comes into the close. As you can see, the, volu the volume, we already got the volume. Um, and that would just be deviant enough to set up tomorrow morning. That's how it, that's, that's how it takes. Because what we also could have tomorrow is this. It'll be the same type of situation. Jobs numbers come out, all these come out, right? What ends up happening, you get a fast spike higher, and then as you come into the close tomorrow, you just give it up in spades. You know, when you get this, yeah, I think this is what we have uh, happening. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs because the big dogs out here, Amazon right now is trading down 27. Um, you get light volume. There's no doubt about that. That doesn't give us much clue as to where this market wants to go. We take a look at Google. Mm, same thing, Apple, let's go take a look at Apple because Apple's reaching for its highs. That's not an expansion of volume, man. Yeah, this thing's not done yet. That's the real bottom line, you know. But when, when I say it's not done, you, when you actually take a look at the overall market, yeah, the, these ABCs, they want to finish up there, but I would start looking for short positions in a, in a, in a huge way, folks. So we're, that, those high volume lows that we hit, we're going after those high volume lows. Dow Industrial's down 332, NASDAQ's off 110, S&P's off 37. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 344, Nasdaq's off 109, SP's off 39. Let's go take a look at gold fields, GFI. The question is, is that when the heck is it going to get to 17? So let's take a look. The low is 775, the high is 1720. That is a high volume high. So I expect we're going to get up there. What we're doing now, you, you can see that, you know, what you had here is this. I mean, the bottom line is that you had, uh, put that up there. I don't want that one. I want this one. You had a nice run. I mean, this thing just took off and it took off from $9, goes straight up to 17 you know, so what, you got eight bucks. So it was almost a 100% move, okay? Now you're going sideways, and I suspect, you know, the, the bottom line is that the 17, 30, 20 wants to get hit again, and very well, maybe, maybe it's your structure on the way up. You know, the, as the time-wise, if you're in the option market, it's a tough one, man. I mean, you know, you just don't know because the bottom line, these things move when they move. Um, it's a nice setup, though. There's no doubt about that. Let's go to NVIDIA. And now this, this is cool. This, 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 question here, folks, is really cool. The reason being is that you can hear from the difference when I came on yesterday versus today. Yesterday, I was hell-bent on all these ABC structures on the way up. Today, I come on saying, yeah, the, the ABC structures are there, but the bottom line is that you really got to start worrying, okay? And NVIDIA is a perfect situation like that. And this is where the divergence comes in, and this is what it is. NVIDIA is in an ABC structure on the way up. When the chip stocks want to go higher. They bring the NDX 100 higher. The NDX 100 higher brings the S&P higher, brings the whole market higher. Okay? Bottom line, you do have an ABC structure up. You know, the B point on this is 272. The A point is uh, 211. So you got, what, 61 points, which would get you three, uh, 320, 326. We've made it up here to 299. So, there's the divergence, right? Now, what you have to do is this. When I see that, and then I go into, oh, here, watch this. I put, okay, so what I'm doing now is this. That RV that I put at the top, folks, tells me everything else that are their closest competitors, okay? So, that list there is their closest competitors. When you look at that, and then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, now let's go pull AMD up, and it's like, okay, what the heck happened to AMD? So now you have divergence. And when this happens, you know, you get, you get AMD coming down with volume, okay? AMD also had a small ABC up. Let me see if that finished. Okay, that was 117 to one that was 16 points. 38. Okay, so this was a failed ABC structure on the way up. Now, this is, this is, pretty, this is really cool, folks, okay? Because when you're bisecting and dissecting markets, right, you can really keep it clean with price and volume and the sectors you're in. So picture, the NDX 100, bottom line, well, first the SPY had the ABC structure up. Then the NDX 100 followed it. And inside the NDX 100, we had all the chip stocks I'm going to bring up the socks next so while the ABC structure's on the way up. Now what do we know? Right off the bat, we know that, okay, you've got a failure. And you know how when I talk about a complex ABC structure, folks? This is not a complex ABC. And the reason it's not a complex ABC, see how much volume is coming down? When you have a complex ABC, what happens is you pull back, 
you pull back into the B point, and the B point in this was $117.95. A complex ABC structure, you pull back and you pull back with lighter volume under the B point. And that's not the case that we have here. So now let's go to the socks and take a look at the socks because this also was an ABC structure on the way up. And we'll take a look and see what's happening there. So you still got the ABC up there. You're coming down. The volume's not, not that big. Um, you know, where, where when you have the AMD getting hit like you're getting hit, when you look at some of these other equities, when I look at the banks, my take is that more than likely you're going to have these, the SPY, the Qs, they're going to fail the ABC structure. You know, and that's my point more than anything. Um, they're going south, man. Let's go take a look at the, and this is going to be about interest rates, okay? The bottom line is that you, right now we're at 2.32, and then watch this. Yeah, watch this. This is, I was working on this this morning. This is a trip. Okay, so this graph that you see that's up here right now, folks, okay? This is the speculation, okay? So picture where we are right now, okay? The bottom line is that, the, what did I say? Two point, the 10-year the right now is at, the uh, 2.31, okay? Now, this, see these, this scale, this scale is telling you, and this is all speculation too, but this is what the market is telling us, right? That, you see these numbers on the second one, 1.75, 3.3, this is the amount of hikes that we're gonna have that the market is speculating. So the market is speculating, if we move into next February of 2023, by that time, they're saying that they were, they were going to have 8.7 hikes. Okay, that's 14 months away, right? If you take the interest rate structure that we have right now, you add that on it, these rates are going to go a lot higher than um, the market expects right now. That's, that's, that's my point more than anything. You're not going to crush inflation with out basically, you know, just slamming the brakes on. That's what this comes down to because there's too much money that's rolling around the country on everything. And the bottom line is that, um, you know, there was, there was a couple, there was a number out that you had higher prices and you had less sales. Um, and I think you're gonna see that continue. That, that's, that's kind of how this thing works. Um, what we have out here is that, you know, you get, uh, uh, President Biden, uh, bottom line, is going to be uh, a million barrels released per day for the next six months. And, you know, we'll see whether that can do anything with the gas prices. But guess what? Oil was going up. You know, I mean, a lot of people, including the administration, looks like they're saying that this is the Russian deal, but it's not. The oil is going up anyway, man. You know, that, that's, that's the bottom line. Oil, oil was running a lot higher. If you look at this oil chart, okay, oil's been running up. If you listen to Tommy's show in the morning, you know, three months ago, you know, um, the Kegstat, Teddy Kegstat was looking at oil going $100, and that's when we were down at 74 And the bottom line, sure enough, you know, it already went up to this uh, 126 You know, you're down today, but guess what? You're down with 429,000 contracts today. Um... There we go, right there. And you get some volume in it, but it's dead. you really you haven't even broke the swing yet. The swing's ninety five dollars, ninety eight, ninety six, forty four, and you haven't even broke it. So that's sad quite a bit. And you know we'll see whether this can do anything. Um, I can tell you one thing. <laughs> Personally, it's a lot better uh, releasing oil at a hundred dollars, a hundred eighty, hundred hundred bucks instead of buying it a hundred bucks, I can tell you that. Because I remember years ago, last time this went up there, I think we were, we were buying and we were filling it up at a hundred bucks. It's like, either, you know, selling it at a hundred bucks, I think it's a much better situation than uh, buying it. And I believe the last time that we, we were doing this, we were buying it at, uh, when this deal ran up to $140, yeah. That's, that's what we were doing, filling it. Stay right there, folks, come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 390, 387, S&P's off one, S&P's off 45, NASDAQ off 134, we'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 407. Nasdaq's up 148. S&Ps are off 50. Let's go take a look at the indice volume and see where we're coming out here, just in case there's a divergence between the... So, you're 592. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do a billion. We take a look at the Nasdaq composite. All right, now the composite is at 440. Yeah, it's not going to do it, man. So, what you want to be prepared for is this, folks, okay? You want to be prepared... That whatever number comes out tomorrow, you might you, you get a pop in the marketplace, even this being down, and more than likely I'd sell that pop. That's that's kind of how this market is shaken out. But particularly because what happens is this. Well, you get yeah, you get window dressing. We get over the weekend, window dressing really gets into Monday too. But yeah, there's plenty of equities that want to go down. That's the real bottom line. So protect yourself big time because when you take a look at, you know, I'm gonna bring up the spy once again on the longer basis on the other side of it you know we did such a let's see what, what do we do here one it's gonna be wild if we we did over a 0.618 let me bring it to there yeah you, you did a 0.786 so when you do a 0.786 the bottom line is that you won't break the lows but guess what in the spy you got a high volume low that's laying out there at 430 410 and you're at 450 so that's gonna be game man that's i hate to be the bear, bearer of bad news but you know what i i can be wrong like Big time, too. <laughs> that's the other side of it. Uh, my take is that that's what, that's, that's what we have happening right now, though. You got, you got, and you always got to remember something, folks. Bear market rallies are the fastest and furious rallies in the marketplace. It's not like a bull market. A bull market, very slow on the way up, steer, you know, escalator on the way up, 
you know, elevator on the way down. The bear market rallies oh, is an elevator on the way up. That's how, the, that's how a bear market shakes out. That's what it does. Wild man. It's a wild one. And hey, don't forget about our new trading room, folks. Okay, go to the front page of TFNN. You're going to see the Tigers Den. It's a dollar. A dollar for the whole year. You're gonna, we have a great community, huge amount of tigers and tigresses. You're going you're gonna to know a lot of the people in there, folks. You've been listening to the program. You're gonna, it's, it's absolutely awesome, man. The ideas are going left and right. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Go get him, folks.